Hi everyone, Hannibal Lewis here from Osaka, Japan. This is lesson five, assignment five. Uh, I'm doing short delay examples. I recorded a guitar track and let's give it a quick listen. <laughs> So there you get an idea of the track. Uh, track one is the original track. Track two here is a track that I added chorus to. And let's give a quick review uh, what chorus is. Chorus, um, multiple detuned copies. Uh, when you vary the delay time, it affects the pitch of the sound. So it seems like you have uh, multiple performers uh, performing uh, the same uh, song, if they're singing, or the same uh, instrument, but each one slightly detuned, so you get a little bit kind of like a different sound. Now, uh, the third track here uh, is I added some phaser and revealed phaser. Phaser is a series of deep notches across the spectrum that move differently in the uh, left and right speaker, so you get a swirling stereo effect, and that's uh, and that's the phaser that we have here. So now let's give a quick listen to again. <laughs> Let's solo the first track. So there you have the uh, original track. Now we'll unsolo that. Let's move on to the second track. And now you hear the chorus. Now I didn't put a lot of chorus. Uh, the uh, delay time that I use is only 0.22 milliseconds. I just wanted to kind of give my track a little depth, a little feel. But um, here, let's move it around a little bit. And you can see, as I change the delay time, as the delay time goes up, you're at three, over three seconds now, it affects the pitch. And as I move it left and right, uh, affecting the frequency, you can see how distorted the sound has become. All right. But let's put it right back or around where I had it originally, right here on the 20s. There you go. And you hear the sound went kind of back to normal. Now let's go to the third track, our phaser. We'll solo that. And you hear that kind of ping-pongy kind of uh, bell chime sound. Again, another that I wanted, I put it at 74, 746 hertz with 0.99 feedback. And I kind of wanted to just create uh, some depth and feel to my, uh, to my track. But if we kind of adjust it here a little bit, as we give it less feedback, you hear the sounds changing. And now, if you go, if we go back and forth on the frequency, you get more of that swirling effect, uh, 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 oscillating effect, right? As we move it back and forth here. So let me put it back where I originally had it at uh, 746 and I'll put the feedback at 0.99 and we'll unsolo it. And there you have it. There's my guitar track uh, for lesson five with a little chorus and some phaser. Uh, this is Hannibal Lewis. Thank you again for listening. I hope you enjoyed. Learned something.